Our story is something that is from a fairy tale, one in which I've never heard or seen before. God had a divine appointment for you and I when we first met, and I'm so blessed to have you as my wife. As our journey starts today, we'll be starting fresh and new. Our lives together will be bonded and unable to be broken. For what God joins together, let no man break. Over the last few weeks, uh, we have overcome many obstacles together. I believe that through all the things that we've had to face, has made us stronger. We will not stop now, and our trust and faith is not founded on man but God. Everyone here, the family and friends, we want to thank you for being part of the witness of this great union. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, because you are in the middle of this ceremony. And the reason why Jonathan and Lisa celebrate and perform this marriage ceremony is to invite you into the center of their marriage, to invoke upon your blessing now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. I have waited and prayed for this day for many years. I am enraptured with joy that it is finally here. Today is the day I choose to betroth myself to you in faithfulness. I knew it was you from the first moment I saw you. Then as I got to know you, God quickly confirmed that you were in fact the one, the one that he handcrafted specifically for me. He has revealed to me countless times that you, my love, are the tangible evidence and manifestation of our Lord's thoughts, plans, love, and intricate knowledge of me. You are stronger than the man I prayed for, more talented than I dreamed my husband would be, wiser than your years, and more sincere than anyone I know, and I promise to treasure you as such. I aspire to love you as unconditionally, intentionally, and passionately as our Heavenly Father loves us. I promise to pursue the heart of the Father so deeply that I stay personally acquainted with his everlasting love and remain enabled to lavish that same love onto you. I vow to choose a life of selflessness and reject selfishness so that I can show you the greatest love that Christ spoke of by laying down my life for yours. On this journey, I never want to stop learning how to love you in specific ways that will not only meet but exceed your needs and expectations. I vow to support you intentionally, listen to you patiently, show you grace, esteem you more highly than I esteem myself in thought, action, and speech, to never give up on you, to see the very best in you even when you feel you're at your worst, to respect and honor you as a spiritual leader of our family, to communicate my appreciation for your acts and thoughts of kindness, to be quick to listen, slow and soft to speak, and slow to wrath to hear your needs with my heart and not only my ears, to pray for you fervently, forgive you quickly, thoroughly, and freely, and to allow the word of God to keep peace and unity between us and the Father. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift, you, lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power invested in me by the state of Florida, in the Church of Jesus Christ, I now present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Brown. 